collision. Hey, dude, think about that. Think about, just think about five hours of primetime wrestling. Oh, dude, that's crazy. It did. It, it really is to me. Uh, Punk stepping back into the, 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 uh, I guess you could say stepping back up into the game. Um, and I, I don't know punk that well, I, I'll, I'll say this, but as a competitor and especially somebody with his, uh, track record of success, uh, love him or hate him. If you don't think that guy's going to show up with the Uber ultimate game face on and, uh, want to tear the house down in whatever shape, form, or fashion. Folks, this is one of the reasons that not just myself, but my father absolutely loved the business because yes, it may be scripted and it's entertainment and everything that goes with this, but from a competitive nature, when the juices start flowing and you have something to prove, not necessarily to the locker room, I'm not saying that not necessarily even to the fan base, but when you have something to prove in your gut to yourself that you want to do good, that a guy that could probably sit back and rest on his laurels. Um, I just don't see that happening. And, uh, the spotlight is going to be on Saturday night. Uh, and I say this, um, with incredible anticipation, I cannot wait for Saturday night for the red light to come on in the United center. And you hear the words, folks, welcome to the premiere of Collision. You don't get an opportunity to do first many times in this business, but we will this Saturday. That's pretty cool. Check it out. Collision this Saturday. Jeff, let me put the last outlaw on the spot here. True or false, yourself and Jay Lethal, y'all have beat FTR more times than you and oh, I have fingers gosh. and toes, right? Uh, Conrad, it is a crying shame, and we didn't get to do a podcast because I was traveling for nine days, and Conrad, I leave tomorrow for another eight, so my travel schedule is kind of crazy, but we didn't get to do any kind of post-mortem or all that. I would be embarrassed if I was Dax and Cash. Absolutely em embarrassed. And I don't want to get into name-calling, so I won't say that about some nicknames I have for those boys. It'll come in a later date. But if I'm Dax Harwood and I'm Cash Wheeler and they use Aubrey and they use Briscoe and they threw the kitchen sink at us and that's how they leave Las Vegas with that kind of win, I, I literally would take the summer off. Well, let me just, let me just brass tax it. Okay. The, the main event of collision. That's been announced is CM Punk and FTR as a six man tag team, a six person tag team. And I find it interesting. I'll say that a lot of people are pointing out that the young bucks are also in a six man tag of their own. And people are starting to jump to conclusions for Wembley. Let me just tell you, it's right in front of you. The greatest six person tag that's ever been put together makes their AEW television debut this week. It's Jeff Jarrett, the last outlaw. It's Jay Lethal, and it's Karen Jarrett. And I say that those three people, they could be CM Punk and FTR. I mean, CM Punk is rusty. He's been out of the ring for nearly a year. So he lines up with Karen pretty well. And then we know what's going to happen with when you guys take care of FTR, you can just pick up the slack for Karen. I think that should be the main event at Wembley. Jeff Jarrett, Jay Lethal, and Karen Jarrett against FTR and CM Punk. I'm Conrad, arguing for that one. Conrad, if I see a graphic that you and your team put together. I'm just saying. Conrad, you better. You want, oh, that's going to happen because CM Punk, he needs to uh, come on back and leave with a guitar necklace this time. Oh, boy. Can you imagine? Oh, happy my world day. It's good to be back in the saddle chatting with you, pal. <laughs> I would just love to see the promos between Karen and punk. Ooh, sign, sign me up for that. Sign me up for that. 